Wait, would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? The season finale of Hasman Hotel cemented that, thankfully, the hotel works. Yeah! But if you want to get into heaven, the Grim Reaper's gonna have to come knocking at your door. Demons still have to experience a second death if they want to be reborn as an angel. But it seems like that death has to be selfless. This might have established a pattern for future seasons of the show. A character, specifically a guest of the hotel, might die every season, but they'll reincarnate as an angel shortly after. Now, this may sound predictable at face value, but I think this would put viewers on the edge of their seats. As just because we know someone will die, it doesn't mean we know when it'll happen. What if the next time a character kicks the bucket, it's in the middle of the season instead of at the very end? Imagine seeing a major character get axed at the beginning of a season. Imagine not every beloved character who dies gets the chance to come back. Imagine even getting something on the level of Red Wedding or Shibuya Incident with an unfathomable amount of characters axed without second thought. But I think we already know who's going to bite the dust and return as an angel next. Angel Dust. Because, uh, just look at his name. Or the fact that his color palette only needs a touch of blue to fit right in with the rest of heaven. All right, that's all for today, folks. Theory over. Good night, everyone. Now, for real though, I seriously think the show may have already laid the groundwork for his second death and how it'll all shake out. Let's unpack how Angel Dust may meet his end because of Valentino's poison. And if you end up digging this theory, please like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you never miss any Hasbin videos or any of our other cartoon content. Locked in on 2024, baby! Let's go! We all know that Angel Dust has already started to see some growth during his stay at the hotel. Initially, he was letting Valentino walk all over him pushing away his friends, and coping with everything through substance abuse. Because he felt like he deserved all of the bullshit being thrown his way. Putting up a facade that embraced the madness, despite the fact that it was deteriorating his mental well-being, fearing the consequences that would come with standing up for himself and his boundaries. But by the end of the season, he's learned to put his guard down when he's around the people who really care for him actually acknowledging them as his friends, standing up for them even to the likes of Valentino. And he's doing his best to abstain from drugs so as to not jeopardize his admittance into heaven. I'm sure he still has a long way to go on like Sir Pinchus. I truly wouldn't be surprised if he ends up tragically relapsing as shit hits the fan in season two. Whether that's prompted by Valentino taking out his aggression on Angel Dust, or Sarah doing her best to gatekeep sinners out of heaven, it does feel like it'd sadly be an inevitability. But we just have to count on him to bounce back. Progress isn't always linear. It looks more like this than this. And I hope that something has been will portray, so it can reach the viewers who need to see it. Especially the adults who think they've already screwed up their lives when really, they're on the verge of a huge breakthrough. I mean, uh, <coughs> emotions, <coughs> personal growth, ew. This is the funny hell cartoon, I'm watching this for the chuckles. A big part of Angel Dust's story seems to be escaping Valentino and the adult film industry. But the biggest thing holding him back is that he's trapped in a deal. His soul is bound to Valentino, who has no intent of letting go. And as shown with Adam and Lilith, the only way out of a deal may be death. Lilith still with Adam voided after Nifty gave him the old stabby stab. And I think the show has already sung to us how Angel Dust will die at the hands of Valentino. But it won't go down the way you'd think. This is far from a new idea, but the lyrics of Poison, one of the most popular songs from the season, may end up being pretty literal in the grand scheme of things. Particularly the end of the chorus. My story's gonna end with me dead from your poison. Pretty straightforward stuff. Figuratively and literally, Valentino will end up poisoning Angel Dust, putting him six feet under the underworld. And according to this theory by Reddit user Please Leave Me Alone 02, uh, sorry if this goes against the request of your username, but Valentino has the same colors as a fateful beauty moth, a moth that secretes poison, but it's only poisonous to humans when ingested. Valentino's saliva is red, the smoke from his cigar is also red. When he smoked from Angel's cigarette that had white smoke, he exhaled his red smoke. Either his saliva makes the smoke, or he makes the smoke itself. When he blows the smoke in his face, he gets dizzy, almost smiling, like he's been drugged. Angel is being emotionally, mentally, and physically poisoned by him. 
The physical poison is to keep him complacent. It's likely addictive too. Angel isn't just sick of his poisonous life, he's also sick from literal poison. Val is the poison. While I think this interpretation could be pretty on the money, I also want to take it a step further. I don't necessarily think Angel Dust is getting gradually killed by Valentino, as Valentino clearly wants to keep him around, unless he's been slipping in an antidote when Angel isn't looking, but at the same time, it's entirely possible that Valentino could be able to distribute his poison at different doses. Some doses are stronger and more lethal than others. And I bet with some smoke and mirrors, it'd be easy for Val to slip a strong dose of his poison into a drink without anyone batting an eye, since the poison comes from himself. However, while I can see him poisoning Angel Dust, I don't think it'll be done intentionally, as Valentina will have his sights set on someone else. Maybe Nifty or Alistair. Two characters who may become a serious threat to the Vs in Season 2. Well, I guess Alistair already is, but still. The big finale song at the end of The Show Must Go On establishes that the Vs are ready to rise up as overlords and really conquer hell. Unfortunately, they may run into some trouble in the form of Nifty, who may also rise up the ranks as a prominent overlord in hell after killing Adam, something that's been well documented. I kinda wanna do a whole video on what's in store for Nifty's arc, but the pilot implied that she used to already be an overlord alongside Husk. Alas, both are now trapped in deals with that damn radio demon. Yet, in spite of Alistair's wishes, or maybe in favor of them depending on what he's scheming, Nifty may be forced into the spotlight as a renowned overlord and no longer just a janitor at the hotel using her influence to form meaningful connections that could benefit the hotel and rake in some more patrons. Something that the Thieves won't be happy about for one reason or another. Valentino already had an encounter with Nifty, entertaining the idea of making her another pawn for his films. Thankfully, Angel Dust intervened and made it clear his friends were off limits. But this could have been setting up the stage for a big, heartbreaking payoff. Valentino plotting to kill Nifty through the guise of an alliance, arranging some kind of meeting that lures her into his domain. So he pulls the classic move of poisoning her drink while talking business. And once again, Angel Dust, not letting Valentino get a moment alone with Nifty, will put a stop to things. Catching on and swapping drinks, not just under Valentino's nose, but the audience's throwing us all off guard as we expect Nifty to croak, only for Angel Dust to take the fall instead, our beloved spider dying a selfless death. But worry not, the conditions of his death, alongside his journey of personal growth, will allow him to reincarnate as an angel. What do we call him, um, Angel Angel Dust? This reaper for allowing him to finally escape his contract with Valentino and granting him a chance to be with his sister, Molly who might have already made an appearance in heaven. Oh yeah, did you know Angel Dust had a sister? I did not until Dream Big Star, the incredibly talented thumbnail artist for this video, showed me her look when conceptualizing this design. From some quick research, uh, the wiki, uh, I got the 401 on her, and basically she's Angel's fraternal twin. It's said that they have a positive relationship, and she doesn't reside in hell. Fans believe she had a silent debut in Welcome to Heaven, as one of the angels bear a striking resemblance to one of her designs. Pretty juicy stuff. Assuming Heaven might be mingling with the hotel a lot more after Pentress's ascension, trying to figure out how the hell that happened, I'd love if somehow, Angel Dust was able to meet up with Molly prior to his second death, allowing us to get even more invested in his goal of reincarnation and making it all the more satisfying when Angel finally becomes, well, an angel. Oh, and uh, you could probably sub most of the nifty stuff with Alistair because he knows how imperative Alistair is for the hotel survival, and Vox definitely wants that man dead. Or wants to fuck him, I'm still trying to figure that one out. And it'd be bittersweet, as we know Alistair isn't willing to die for his friends, even if they're ready to put their lives on the line for him. Regardless, I truly do think Angel Dust will be the next big death in the series, although if this is the case, there's comfort in knowing that there's a happy ending waiting for him. Eh, we'll find out in like, 2025, 2026? Animation takes so long, bruh. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours. What do you think awaits Angel Dust and the rest of the Hasbin Hotel crew? 
Let me know in the comments down below, and keep the conversation going over on Twitter and Instagram at AltricVox and at RoundtableVids. Huge thanks to Dream Big Star for a fantastic thumbnail. Be sure to throw him a follow over on Insta and peep Toon Jerk for some dope cartoon merch like the Curse of Feathers in Mud or Three Star Designs. Links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw it a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Peace.